they put me in the back seat of a detective car, and I had my feet outside the detective car. I was still handcuffed. They pulled my pants and shorts down, and they stopped to stop me with the electric telephone. Karen says Chicago police officers used illegal methods to force a false confession. He spent 24 years in prison for a crime he says he didn't commit. Lawyers say Cannon is one of 120 mostly black men who endured torture at the hands of Chicago police between 1972 and 1991. They say the abuse came under the direction of former Chicago police commander John Byrd. Byrd was eventually fired and convicted in federal court of lying about the torture. He was sentenced to four and a half years in prison. This week, the city finally acknowledged victims of the Burge case. The city council introduced an ordinance that would set aside $5.5 million in reparations for dozens of torture victims connected. He wins the case, $5.5 million. He got tortured by police and they forced a shotgun in his mouth. Chicago PD. Any city in the United States of America has ever acknowledged racist police practices and provided reparations. And to be clear, we are talking about reparations for black people in this instance. That is a huge landmark. Cops out of control throughout the U.S. It's more than 1%.